Today, I have some beautiful cottage spring decor DIYs. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. All right, we're gonna start off with some vine, and my ivy is actually from the thrift store. I have some Dollar Tree pansies. They do have some mixed colors like this, and they have some that are, you know, all the same color on each pick. I have some leftover thrifted daisies. I'm gonna use a styrofoam ball to put down in my little container here. I have some tissue paper with pansies. It's very pretty and it matches the pick. This came from the donations that I got from a very nice person. And I'm gonna reuse it. I have seen things similar to this at Dollar Tree, so you can just use your imagination. And then I am going to just place this down and cut it out. I'm gonna be using the back side because it's already white so I can save myself a step and not have to paint. I'm gonna use my glue stick. I love the purple because it shows you where you have your glue and then it just vanishes and disappears. So I'm just lightly pressing this down and outward to just kind of start pressing out the bubbles and making sure that it is stuck down and I'm gonna take my little roller here and just go over the top to make sure it's nice and flat. Using a sanding block, I'm gonna just shear off the edges and this will give it a nice clean finish. And it almost gives it the look of being painted on here, which I really love. So I'm just gonna take a pick that is a little smaller than the diameter of the holes that were there and just go right through there and go all the way through to the back so that it pushes that paper inside the hole and it gives you a nice finish. I found this beautiful cording. I think I got it at the Dollar Tree. Pretty sure that I did get it at the Dollar Tree. It's yellow and white. It's like a baker's twine, but you can use raffia or whatever you choose. Then go through here and thread them together and then push them up through the hole in the top and tie a knot. Now talking about tissue paper for a moment, if pansies are not your thing, just go to Dollar Tree, pick out some tissue paper that you like that's floral, and then go to the floral section and choose some coordinating flowers. That's all you have to do if you don't wanna make it exactly like mine. Totally understandable. We're all about making it our own on this channel. So just use this as inspiration. So now, just to make sure that it doesn't slip through the top, even though I've got double and triple knots, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue right to the hole so that this will sit on top of it. And cut off my extras, because I don't need it, and then just pick off the little, the little webs that form there. You can also get wood cutouts at Dollar Tree. Mine are thrifted. I'm gonna look at my variety of spring cutouts and choose one. And I like this thick wooden one, but I want to change the color a bit. So I'm taking some chalk paint, and this is the plaster color. And I'm just gonna start off by lightly adding a little bit on the brush and then tapping it off and then adding it to the butterfly. I found it much easier to add more than to take it off. So I always start with a lighter layer and then build up the layers until I get it the way that I like it. And I like the way this looks. So I'm gonna add some hot glue on the back and then I'm gonna place it down just kind of, you know, like it's flying over the flowers to make this project. I think it's cute. Now we're gonna move on to a little coordinating floral arrangement. I'm gonna take some hot glue. You can use this on your cooler temperature. I don't know what was going on with my glue stick. It looks terrible, but it was still working, still working. Okay, so I'm gonna place it down in there and just hold it for a second to make sure that it's stick down to my glass. And I'm gonna show you how to make some clips to hold your vines down. Just cut a piece of your floral picks, whatever you have left over and bend it right in half, it's perfect. Now this vine, I'm just measuring to see how much I need. It actually has a thin wire in it, so I'm using that first piece of wire to stick it down into that ball. I'm going around the edges of the bowl, or the vessel, container, vase, whatever you wanna call this, and you can use whatever you have. And I'm just going to lay it down to get an idea of how I want it to be. And because mine has a little bit of wiring in it, I can move around the picks just a little bit, or the leaves just a little bit. 
Now these will perfectly hold these onto that ball so I don't have to use a bunch of glue and risk burning myself. So now I'm going to go over to my little pansies. I'm going to push my greenery upward so the leaves are going to go upward. And then I'm going to begin to clip these off. I'm going to use this whole bundle. If you like more, then you can definitely do your own thing. See here? That's easy. That's all you have to do. And I always have these pieces left over, so I like to save one here and there because I can always use them again and save even more money. And you know that's what we're about on this channel. I got something special to show y'all in a little bit too, so stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding these beautiful yellow flowers. And these are Gerber daisies, I believe. And I'm just going to add one to the top and then I'm going to add three on the sides. Now the one that you place on the top is going to determine the height and I want this to be somewhat of a round uh, arrangement. I want it to be short and round. It's very pretty this way. I think it's springy and it makes that little container that looks like an egg look even more so like an egg which is perfect for Easter, right? So I'm just going to add these in here and there. This arrangement makes me very happy. The colors in here are happy and bright and cheerful and I think that's important in the springtime. You know, get these pretty things in your home, get you some pretty scents in your home, some candles that have a light and floral scent, maybe a fruity scent. It just uplifts your spirit and your mood and it's just, I don't know, it's good for my soul I think. So you can see how I've added these. And then I'm gonna always look from side to side and around, and which is what I'm doing here. I've got a few extras, and I'm gonna look and see what needs to be adjusted and where I might could add these extra picks. So there's a little spot here that could use something extra. And then another little spot here. And I think that that is just a precious look. What do you think? Look how nicely it coordinates with this. Not only are fresh, springy scents important in your home, but on your body. Why not give yourself a little bit of luxury at a fraction of the cost? So I was contacted by Dossier and they let me choose a perfume. Now I choose this, I chose this fruity orange. You can see here it's a big bottle, which is by the way, recycled. Mm -hmm, that's right, except for the pump. It is a lovely scent. It smells like Clinique's Happy, if you're familiar with that. The scent is pure and it lasted all day long. So I was so impressed by this, I wanted to share it with you. You know I'm all about sharing budget-friendly ideas. I think sometimes as women though, we tend to put our house and our home and our family in front of us. But we really do need to spend some time thinking about ourselves and what makes us happy, right? Okay, so let me share a couple of things about this company with you. Dossier has a welcome offer of up to 20% off of their website. You can get up to 30% off your first order by using a coupon code. The extra 10% applies at the checkout on top of the welcome offer. So that is a huge savings on a product that is already only $39 a bottle. And there are so many other great things. For example, they have a payment method that lets you earn store credit. They're risk-free, so you can try any products, and if you don't like them, you can return it during a 30-day period without any questions asked, and you can get a full refund. So if you're concerned that you might not like it, you can get your money back. Keep in mind, Mother's Day is coming up, and I think all women love body scents, right? Everybody likes a great scent. You can get 25% off and free shipping for three bottles. So you could get one for yourself, your daughter, and your mother. How about that for a deal? I'm gonna put some links in the description box below if you're interested. On to the next project. We're gonna use a Dollar Tree wheel wreath frame. I'm going to use some ivy and some forsythia vine. My ivy and vine, they, are, um, they were thrifted, but you can get something similar to it anywhere you do your shopping. All right, so I'm gonna start by just wrapping this around. You know how ivy grows. It just grows up and around. It wraps out and around any little thing it can get attached to. 
and I'm just gonna go in between the spokes back and forth with this fine. We're gonna do something different with the forsythia, but you'll see that in a minute. So I'm gonna keep going around here, around and around. If you can't find something similar to this at Dollar Tree, um, this ivy, you can definitely find this and get it on uh, a sale week at Hobby Lobby. And probably in the wedding section, you could get this too. All right, and this is just another piece. It's a different one, but I'm gonna mix them together anyway. You can see that it's darker, a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna put that kind of off to the side and then wind it around on the inside with the other one. It makes it look like it's intentional. You know, sometimes when foliage uh, first comes out of the ground, it turns out that it looks a little bit lighter than it actually does as it ages a bit and grows a bit. It gets a little deeper and darker. So we're gonna go with it. We're going to go with it. Now this is kind of a cottagey look and that's what I intended for this video to be. So I'm gonna play around with it. I'm gonna make it look like something that may be growing in an English garden somewhere. I'm gonna give it a little bit of freedom to do as it will, and then I'll be wrapping it around so it doesn't fall off. You can use um, ties, wires, anything that you want to hold it down to further hold it down, but I found that with this, it stays right where it needs to be. I guess it depends if you have a wired stem or if you have plastic in your stem. All right, so now we're going to layer the forsythia right on top of it. At first, when I got this, I thought, you know, that looks like jasmine, and it really does. Jasmine and forsythia, are they similar? Are they the same thing? I don't know. All right, so now I'm just going to start by kind of wrapping this end around. You won't be able to see that loop. And then rather than wrapping this around and around, because I don't want it to be thick, I want it to lay flat on whatever surface, I'm going to put the forsythia just on the top. You can see here that I'm winding it down in the ivy a bit, and then I'm gonna use whatever types of ties or wires that I have. This particular little tie here was one that was actually holding that forsythia to the tag. So I'm using it again. I'm recycling it. You can use white, you can use black, you can use whatever color that you like. Now, my wheel there, my bicycle wheel, was actually black and I spray painted it white. So I've used it several different times in several different arrangements. It's also been copper before. So, you know, you can recycle your things. You can use them over and over again. So just go around here, all the way around. And you can make it as thick or thin as you like, depending on how much you have um, in your vine. This is another thing, you know, you can pick up these vines at um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, any craft stores. Just watch your sales. Lots of stores have sales. And if you want to save your money and stretch it a little bit further, maybe you don't have a good thrift store, then just be sure that you watch your sales cycles in your craft stores. And you can often get things at 50% off. And you can buy off season and put it back for next year if you've got space to store it. So you can see here, I've just used floral wire this time and I'm attaching it down to the ivy and the spokes underneath, or the wire underneath. Now, I don't want mine to be any thicker than it is, so I'm just gonna cut it off here when we get back to the front. You can see this little loop is where we started, and I'm gonna just loop it right through there. And you won't even be able to see it once I move my ivy around. It's such a simple little wreath, but to me it makes a, a nice impact. You got the bright yellow and the beautiful rich greens. It just looks like spring to me. So now I'm going to move all of these around and make sure that I'm not looking at the plastic backs of anything. I want to move everything forward as much as I can. And if you have a problem and you can't get things to lay the way they that you want them to lay, just grab a little hot glue. You see I'm gonna cover the ring here with an extra leaf and I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to put another piece right over where I've got too much of this wheel showing through. Simple, it doesn't take a lot of hot glue and then it'll peel off easily when you get ready to use this for something else. So once I get it the way I like it, I'm going to embellish it. 
This is a sign that I got from Dollar Tree. This wasn't in the spring though, it was over in the home decor. Um, and I have found quite a few of these in my store, so hopefully you can find these in yours. To make it stick down, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner and a piece of paper and my hot glue gun. Be careful, protect your fingers. I'm gonna flip it over once it is dried and then twist it right into the center. I like the placement of this. I'll be able to see my home sign nicely and I think that the black and the yellow and green look so pretty together. Now to cover that, just to make sure nothing scratches, if you wanna put it on the wall or your door, you can put another piece of paper on top and that'll give it a little bumper. So I don't like the way this looks. It's not glued on there right. You know how it is at Dollar Tree, sometimes things just, they just don't sit right. So I'm just gonna pull it off and I'm gonna reshape it and then place it back down. And to me that made such a difference, such a difference. Whoops. Okay. Now that it's nice and full and pretty and shaped more like an O, I'm gonna embellish it. I just decided that maybe I would add a couple of more of those pretty little flowers right down on top of it. What do you think? Would you have left it alone? Or do you like it like this? Can y'all believe we have 11,000 subscribers in our, in our YouTube family? We do, 11,000, almost 11,800. So that's very exciting. I love to see that people are enjoying what I'm doing, that I'm inspiring people. I love it. And if you have not subscribed and you're a viewer, I wish you would. I really wish you would consider it. I'm always going to do my best to bring you unique pieces. I'm not copycatting. Um, I'm gonna try to bring you thrift flips and Dollar Tree and discount DIYs. We're gonna recycle things. Yeah, I'd love to have you as part of the YouTube family. Now I'm just gonna add some of that ivy because I think that gives it a little extra oomph. What do you think? Yep, I like it like that. This is so simple. And you don't have to put any type of hanger on there. You can just hang it right from the frame, which I love. I hope you do this one. So here are our three creations together. These are my cottage spring creations. They were inspired by the pansies that I found at Dollar Tree. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We really do have a lot of fun here. I hope you try these because I believe in you and I know that you can do it and I bet yours are going to be just as wonderful. And the best part is they'll be exactly how you like them. Don't doubt your abilities, you can do it. What you do is good enough, you are good enough. I hope you're having some beautiful spring weather. I know that I have been. I appreciate you all so much, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.